Early on in my life, um, I got involved with drugs and and just things that not healthy for anyone. Um, by my seventh grade year, um, I was just too too stoned to really function in school at all. Also, my attitude um, towards people, especially here in the, the, the culture we call the Howley or the white man. And some of the boys I was running with, you know, was just brought up typical local style. And the Howleys is the, our biggest woes in life. And it just began to breed anger and, and hatred and eventually violence. Before I was out of high school, I was definitely addicted, especially to alcohol. And part of the behavioral change with the anger came suicidal tendencies, I guess you call it. And so that monkey stayed on my back till I was 30 some years. That first Sunday I walked into the church, hungover, reeking alcohol. And yet, the power of God, the, His Holy Spirit was speaking through the, the, the hangover and everything, saying, you need this. Came back a few Sundays later, gave my life to the Lord. And then I began to walk with Jesus. Satan knows when we draw near to the Lord, so he turns the temperature up. And when I came to know the Lord, the suicidal tendencies that I talked about earlier were just multiplying. I knew that I was safe. I knew that no matter what now, I was secure. I knew that. But that monkey was still on my back, the suicidal monkey. In about two months, three months, whatever it was in my walk, I called my pastor and I said, dude, you got to give me a reason for living. You have to give me that reason to live. I was in a park at night, all dark. And he asked me for the gun first. I said, no way. You give me the reason to live. And so by the headlights of his truck, he began reading Romans to me. And I just surrendered the gun over to him. I said, here, dude, take it. He said something to me. He says, dude, I got to pray over you. I got to pray this monkey off of your back. He prayed over me and like the drinking thing, I've been fine ever since. As much as we try and pass suicide off as a um, psychological issue, it's a spiritual issue. It's a deep spiritual issue that something deep is missing in your life. And that is the God who created you, Jesus himself. And I know now Whatever your addictions are, if it's not an addiction to the love of Jesus, it will lead you down to that road of destruction. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's drinking drugs, porn, whatever it is. The problem with addictions is that people always try and chase that first high. They always want to get back to that first high. And I tell people, yeah, I got an addiction now, and it's called Jesus. But the thing with Jesus and his addiction is you never can get the ultimate high. So you keep following because he keeps bringing you to a higher place with him. And it's a good, healthy addiction. <laughs>